This video is going to show you how to use MapLine's new and improved filtering options. Once you get your data uploaded on the map, the first thing you'll want to do is come over to the left hand sidebar and click on this menu and then select filter. Once here, you're going to have the option to set those filters. So I'm going to first click here on this plus and I'm just going to add a logic. Then I can choose any of these columns to create my filter from. So the first one I'm going to do is region. So I'm only wanting to see the regions that equal and then I'll click down here and I can select any of these. So I'm going to unselect all of them and then I'm only going to select central. And then I'll click apply and I click apply again. All right, and there we go. So now if I zoom in here on those locations, I can see all of that. Now let's say I wanted to continue to add more information to that. So then I can come back over here, click here and then select filter. Now if I want to add another criteria, all I do is I click here again and I can either add a group where I could set multiple criteria for one thing or I could just add a logic. So I'm just going to add another logic and then I can select a column. This time I'm going to choose our sales information and I only want to see stores that have, go to the number filter because this is a quantitative column, stores that have greater than or equal to 45 okay and then I can again click apply and now you can see some more of those pins have disappeared and then finally we can do dates so if I come in and I come back to filter I can add a third one again I'll select logic then I can come here to the column I'm going to select date visited and here's where things get really cool so I can click on this and I'm going to go to date filters and I'm going to say based on the date I want to see all the stores that were visited after a certain date and so then I can select here and I can choose a date I can type one in or I can use a relative date so that my filter is always updating so let's say that I want to see any location that has been visited in the last 30 days so I would click here on add calculation I would say minus and then I would just type in 30 and then I select apply and apply again. And now you can see that I just got this one location here and if I click on it I can see that it is part of the central region that it was last visited on 610 and it has an annual sales of 46.2. So then I'll close out of that. I can come back over here to the filter. So once I'm here I can delete any of the criteria or I could also change it so that if any of the criteria are true that all of those pins would appear. Once you get a filter that you know you're going to be using frequently and you don't want to have to continue to create it across multiple maps, you can come up here to this save preset option. If you click on it, it's going to ask you to give it a name. So I'll type in central locations with greater than or equal to 45 in sales visited within the last 30 days and yours don't have to be that long. And then I'll click OK. And now you can see that if I were ever to come in and create another filter, I could just load this preset and then I could select it and it would automatically apply to that data set. And that's how easy it is to use MapLine's new and improved filtering. Mm -hmm.